Nearby, in shadowy woodland glades, another plant of devastating beauty and deadliness thrived. Lily of the Valley, with its delicate white bells and sweet, intoxicating perfume, was perhaps the most paradoxical plant in the medieval pharmacopoeia, a poison so potent it could stop a heart, yet a medicine so respected it was prescribed to strengthen that very same organ. This duality made Lily of the Valley a plant of fascination and fear. Monks cultivated it carefully in medicinal gardens, harvesting the flowers with gloved hands and drying them in separate rooms from food herbs. In the hands of a skilled apothecary, it saved lives. In the hands of the untrained or the malicious, it brought swift, untraceable death. Court poisoners knew its potential, as did village healers, creating a strange equality where the same plant served both the highest nobility and the poorest peasants. Known as the Ladder to Heaven by monastery herbalists, this woodland flower contains powerful cardiac glycosides, compounds so similar to modern heart medications that medieval physicians were unknowingly pioneering cardiology when they prescribed carefully measured doses for dropsy, what we now call congestive heart failure, and irregular heartbeats. The margin between healing and harm was perilously thin. One extra leaf could transform medicine into murder. Look at Lily of the Valley today and you'll see it sold in garden centers without warning labels, its deadly secrets locked away in forgotten herbals. Those delicate white bells that decorate spring gardens once held the power of life and death in medieval medicine